For the month of April, I'm doing a couple of gold and orange pieces. And while it's very easy to find stone in that color palette, finding glass to match that gold orange color is really challenging. But before I get started, as anybody with the shop knows, gotta do a little maintenance. Here's something I find really fascinating about this process. When I get done hacking off large chunks on the saw and then it gets shaped up on the lap wheel, inevitably somebody in the comments will say, oh, I liked it at that point when it was matte. And it's true, they look fantastic with that finish, but those, for whatever reason, are the ones that never sell. Selling isn't the primary motive in the studio, but it can impact how often I choose to do matte pieces. Okay, this is also really interesting. These are the scratches left by these two different types of belts. So that was an 80 grit, so if you want to go back and rewind it, you can. Here are the scratches from a 220 grit. And if you look carefully, you can actually see the lamination lines in that shot from the microscope. It's also really common for people to think that this phase is fake and that it doesn't actually do anything. It's for dramatic effect. It's not true. That slurry is actually a polishing compound that gives the piece the extra pop, that extra luster.